Hi people and welcome back to my channel. I got myself into another adventure and that is the pick a stick challenge, uh, which I found out is very, very difficult. Um, this is a Facebook group which started in January 2016 with a monthly challenge called pick a stick. Um, what they do is they have a bucket full of uh, sticks with prompts or journal prompts on, on them and they pick 10 and these are the steps you will have to follow for your art journal page and you have to do them in order you can improvise a bit with the steps uh, itself but you have to do them in the order the sticks are picked so that can be very very difficult and challenging so this one for January 2016 had uh, the first step saying create a title in your own typeface font. So usually I'm ending with a title and now I had to start with one. So that was a very different approach. Bear with me. Um, this one I'm making in my uh, art journal, which is an old book, in fact. And what I've done is gessoing the page and glued some pages together and also adding some masking tape in the middle. And as I had to start with creating a title, I used uh, a very big word, happy, uh, of which I thought would be the easiest way to work around because of it's filling all the the whole page so um, that's what I did I uh, draw the word happy with a pencil and then painted the letters with a black acrylic paint and step two was use gears so it didn't say how uh, you had to use them and the only thing I have with gears is the stencil that I used. Uh, that is a stencil by Craft Emotions. And I used an archival ink, the Paradise Steel, to add the gears uh, over the word happy. Uh, step three was add a verse from a song. So I took the song from Farrell Williams, uh, I'm happy, and I took some uh, um, sentences from it to add to the letter, the first letter of the word happy. And then build texture with a palette knife and any medium. So I used the modeling paste from Liquid Text and the same stencil with the gears to uh, go over um, the same as I did with the ink and add some texture with the modeling paste. And now I am doing step five, which is create borders elements with scrapbook paper. So what I did was uh, taking some scraps uh, I had and I torn some strips of it and I'm gluing it down with a Mod Podge and I'm going around uh, the pages of the book. I will leave you a link to the Pick a Stick Challenge a Facebook group. They started uh, in January 2016, so there are 12 challenges up so far. But you can join in and start with any month you like. So, And you can post your pages or videos in there. Uh, step six is use sparkles and I had this bottle, a uh, little pot with uh, different colors of glitter in it. So I added some Mod Podge uh, to my page, mostly around the texture uh, of the gears and then I sprinkled some of the glitter uh, on top of it. 
And step seven is add paint with a palette knife or card. So I use the white acrylic paint and um, a sort of a credit card and um, I'm outlining the letters of happy uh, with the with the card. So, so far so good. I managed to work around this big word of a happy and um, I'm quite happy where this is going. Then we move on to step eight, which says journal so nobody can read it. Oh, first I'm adding a bit more um, acrylic of the white acrylic paint with the card on the border of my page. And now there is step A to do, which says journal so nobody can read it. So I used my white Uniball Signo pen. Uh, which isn't writing uh, that good anyway. So, and I'm writing also on mostly a white background and I am ri writing backwards. So yeah, that's hard to read. So And then step nine, add a picture. Oh, what I did, um, it says add a picture and not pictures, but this was one picture. I printed out, I found this image on the internet, which uh, were silhouettes of jumping and happy people. I thought that would fit my page perfectly, uh, but I, cut them out all separately so and now I am gluing them down with a mud podge and I place them on the bottom of my page so the word happy is still visible. And step 10 says write on masking tape with pen or pencil and add to the page. So. I use um, a thin masking tape and I'm writing. First I am stamping with a Finna Bear uh, stamp and the archival ink in Paradise Steel to um, give it a bit more interest and then I am writing because I'm happy and I do that with um, a black Faber Castell artist pit pen. So preparing for this page, I watched some videos also for the pick a stick challenge. And um, I noticed that everybody finds this quite difficult to make, but it is fun. Let me tell you. So you must go and join the Facebook group and try it yourself. It's challenging, but great fun. So here I am about ready with my page. And the last thing I do is use, a, I wanted to use a acrylic paint and ended up using an acrylic spray paint for splattering on the silhouettes of the people. And what I did off camera was inking the edges with the Paradise Steel ink pad and also outlining the people with a black gel pen as well. So this is it for me. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up because that really helps for people to find my channel. And um, remember to, to check out the Facebook group and hopefully see you again next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.